It's only three days ago. I know. <laughs> it's only three days ago. <laughs> we talked about Senator John. But then, Holy shit. he does a show on Wednesday, a political show. He's not getting any super chats. He seems angry. He's like, this is probably my last show ever. <laughs> yes. So then he puts out this goodbye episode Thursday morning and kind of nukes his channel, takes all his videos down, takes his Patreon down. This is eight months ago, approximately. And uh, here we go. Nukes everything, Brilliant. puts out a, uh, you know the tweet, should I stay or should I go? Everyone says, just go. Yeah. Take your ball and take your shine box. <laughs> I got to get your fucking shine <laughs> Yeah, meanwhile, they were predicting the over-under on when he's coming back. Yeah. yeah. And uh, people were saying Christmas. <laughs> nope, he's already back. So he comes back. <laughs> He, he had a travel day, that's all it was. He was in Florida. He flew back to New York where his mom lives on Thursday. And then immediately on Friday afternoon, he's back up and podcasting again. He's going to be like, no, the golden goose. If only I had a few more of those eggs, damn it. <laughs> which was not the case, which I'll show you in a second. But uh, John's very proud of himself. And uh, this is him asking if... Shuli was crying about it. Did the shit way I have a heart attack? Because I was gone. He was freaking out. Oh, no. Where's my money going to come from? What am I going to do? Is Here are his leaving? fantasies. Is my He's acting leaving? out his fantasies. And what am I going to do? Get it all figured out. No stuttering, John. What am I going to do now? I don't have any content. Oh, let's see. Let's see what uh, Shuli did on that Thursday when John said he was going away. He did an Uncle Rico show. Invited me on, and uh, this is basically what we had to say about that. This Dalverse is not friendly, and one of the reasons it's not because of this guy. W A T P Carly Boy. <laughs> Come on. What is happening, fellas? Big day today. Congratulations. Wow. I mean. Should I start reading off the people I want to thank right now, or save it to the end? I mean, is it me, or do we do we feel like do we all feel like we liberated the internet today, like the troops liberated France? From the... First off, does this sound like people are going, Shuli, What are we going to do now? How, how are we going to survive through this? Jen, we're selling the houses. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we can we can get by with a one bedroom apartment, right? We don't need a second yeah, bedroom. We'll dude. find out. <laughs> Not. <Nah, please. laughs> Now, Amazing. I have to say, I know you guys are talking this morning about when is he going to be back. The timing is suspicious, right? Uh, mm -hmm. This, I, Yep, I, the, the trip to the East Coast, and somebody, maybe Bob or Mike, said his mom may have told him you can't do shows while you're here because she doesn't want him. She just wants him to enjoy something, mm -hmm. maybe. You know, nah. so that's a thing now, nah, you know, things Mike's, an that's idiot. Mike's an idiot. No, but that that is a, a pretty look when he left, when he taught us a lesson last time, it's because he had a strike for a week. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. And uh, and the time before that, he was working full time. He took on the long term substitute teaching gig. Right. So there's always a reason that he leaves. And it's not because he's made the decision to take his ball and go home, which, by the way, is the most childish bitch move possible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, other than just yelling and screaming when somebody's trying to make a point to to show that you're a liar and just yelling and screaming and yelling and screaming. It's unbelievable. He, he just challenged me to a boxing match. Is this even going to happen now? No, I'm not even sure. Damn it. Because he challenged every All right, so I, I wanted to play that because it sets up how for a reason. What I'm fascinated by is this shit, where you see the interaction between John and his mom. He's getting these phone calls. He's yelling at his mom. This gets hilarious. We always wanted John IRL, and this is right. about as close as we're going to get. Right? This is the awesome. reality show that we all want to watch. <laughs> I also love that he goes, what do you, what do you morons? You guys thought I was actually leaving? No, oh, none of us. Take the phone out, please. <laughs> we didn't have a chance to think about it. You came back no so one fast. Thought, no one thought he was leaving, but more importantly, no one cared. <laughs> no one He's cared. coming back like it's like this great moment that a, a sports star or a rock uh, band is coming out of retirement. <laughs> No one. Oh my cared. God! Roger Clemens is in the box. <laughs> in the box. I can't believe it. George Steinbrenner's box. Roger Clemens. Roger Clemens. Summary John has turned on his <laughs> webcam. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just that's what he thinks is happening right now. Where the, the, all of the Dabble verses, like, holy shit! I can't believe back. Yeah. We, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Triumphant return. <laughs> he, he would be over the top of the show like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
the top of the steps, he would be like the first landing, just fully flat just on his standing stomach. up. He Vomit he strewn up. all over everywhere. You ain't gonna retire, Stuttering John. I'm not gonna let you. I'm the number one contender for podcast. <laughs> no, we he were... was gonna leave. Bullshit. All of us were, pre- were predicting when he was gonna come back, right. and nobody had it past mid January. I thought he was no. taking a Christmas vacation. I'm like, he probably just wants a vacation. He'll be back after the first. We couldn't even do that because he's too poor. Mom's making pies in the kitchen. Yeah, it, um, mom, you're in the way. Yeah, I know when we're cooking dinner. Yeah, it's, it's my Christmas day. <laughs> All right, so. Also, why does he pick the most echoiest fucking room, like the kitchen? Like, go in where there's fucking a rug. <laughs> mom probably relegated him to the kitchen. Stay <laughs> out of the living room. <laughs> this room he's in a plastic clean. fanic there. Yeah, the plastic crinkles on the couch when I try to podcast. <laughs> he's so sticky, he sticks to it. <laughs> he should be he's in the top. bedroom because it's, it's too popular. <laughs> he should be in the top with exploding Oh, God. You can't get a mouse in here? What the fuck? I thought you were gearing up for a joke there. We don't, we don't uh, oh, use the answer on YouTube, uh, let's see. Oh, um, I don't know why I think jokes. All right, so <laughs> this is... No, it's, uh, giant would be a suicide. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening right before our very eyes. Oh, it's 349 in the afternoon I haven't had a beer yet, but you think I'm an alcoholic? Literally what he said. 349. And tequila doesn't count as beer. Tequila guys like beer. <laughs> now, if I had three tequilas over four hours, do the math. <laughs> That's a teaching math. In, 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 All right, you can, your body process is one drink. A train leaves Chicago, hours. and it's, uh, the bar opens at two on the train. How many beers will I drink at Denver? The podcast starts at four o'clock on the Eastern Coast. What time does it start on the West Coast? <laughs> I called the student and told his mother he's a freak. <laughs> <laughs> but I like your question, because he'd be like, no, no, I'm asking you guys, what time would it be? I don't know. I'm like, I gotta get this out of here. I gotta get this out of here. So uh, this is epic right here because this is big, John's big triumphant return. Right off the beginning, the phone starts ringing because people have John's mom's phone number. And so oh. John's now telling his mom how to manage this. In position and ready. Do you see the men of John's mom's phone number? And so oh. John's now telling his mom how to manage this. Mom, they're going to call every second. You got to just take a look. <laughs> it's not Joyce. Tell Joyce to call <laughs> Call your cell phone. Just ha- just take it off the hook. He's telling everyone what to do. Too lazy to get up out of the chair and do it himself. He orders around his 87-year-old mother. He's a major piece of shit. I hate this guy. Please. Yeah. Because I was just going to ring every second because these guys got no lives. <laughs> Please. Because that's just going to keep ringing. Yeah. All right. Thank you, mommy dear. Thank you, mommy. You're welcome. She said you're an alcoholic. She sounds almost as They're like, yeah, he's doing your stupid fucking podcast. Rupert, you have to go to work. Rupert, you're going to miss the bus. house every fucking five minutes. Ma, I got to do this now. Well, it's so funny because I got to get these super chats so I can get your Christmas present ordered. She thinks she's going to get a phone call from one of her friends, like Joyce or yeah. something like that. So he's like, tell Joyce to call you on your cell phone and unplug the phones. This gets funnier and funnier the more it goes out. So in this next clip, he's talking about Kevin Brennan called into Patrick Melton's show. Now, let me remind everyone, John doesn't know who Patrick Melton is. He has no say. idea that he has a show. He wouldn't know where to find it. But when Kevin calls in and bashes Shuley, all of a sudden John knows all about it. And, you know, he never has anything to say about Patrick Melton trashing his kids. And John never did a song about him. Yeah, correct? right. And now, now he knows all about it. Hey, hey, it's Kevin Breton. I know Kevin and I don't see eye to eye on a lot of things. Yeah, he thinks you're but a moron. <laughs> he, that's the coward. The people call in my house. My mom. Is it? Careful, John, don't fall. There we go. I answered the toaster Goodbye. oven. <laughs> they take no the batteries, batteries out. Yeah, oh, watch this. Yeah. Oh, He's no, proud of himself. No. <laughs> no, don't say that. He looks like Every crazy Eddie. <laughs> we should have oh, smart oh, again. God. The base station is what the phone is actually connected to, and that's what rings. <laughs> so, so, of yes. course, it's going to uh, fucking ring again. <laughs> <laughs> you can't invent this character. I took the bad out. How are they still doing this? I don't understand. All right. I'm the de energizer. <laughs> this is. That uh, buddy ain't got shit on me. This is where John has a little self awareness and realizes <sighs> that this is king of comedy. Look, there is not a chance, nine. There's not a chance in hell. Mom, are you going to keep coming in now? Or are you going to just go? Oh, you know, I don't like it when you use the word help. You know, I know, I'm not, but you just... <laughs> you see me over there. Yes, I can. It distracts, you know what I'm saying. Okay, distracts. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Make me a hot pocket. I feel like, I feel like uh, De Niro in The King of Comedy. Yep. Mom, stop yeah. bothering me. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, you. I'm doing a he show is. here. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> oh, sure, <laughs> he's funnier than you. Don't worry. Uh, I'll take the batteries out of this one. For all. Oh, oh, my God. God. It's still God. ringing. This is hilarious. <laughs> I just wanted to go grab a hammer. <laughs> and now it's ringing from upstairs. You got to unplug that one, Ma. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> you hear the other phone ring? Just do me a favor. Take it go upstairs and just take it off the hook and close the door. Uh, <laughs> AT&T and the phone cancel and plug the <laughs> I should have thought these losers are going to do that. Yeah, you should have. You uh, think you would have yeah, came up yeah, with a solution really last Christmas? Yeah. It's like, better call Saul, Chuck. He's going to look for that ring and tear the entire his mom's place apart. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Although, it must be nice to go back, visit mom, and have a mug that has a handle on it. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a, a deep pull, but, you know. Okay. It's going to keep ringing. Go out. Not gonna be climb up the lines of mine. Cut the whole line. Grab your spike shoes and the belt thing. <laughs> All right. But don't cut the internet one. I need that. So after he says... She's not going to figure this out. She does. She's bad with technology, just like me. And he's still yelling at her to unplug the phones. <laughs> Great. But I, I'm sure they're going to keep calling. Yep, there it goes. Oh, my God. <laughs> 87 years old. He's making a run up the stairs and unplug stuff. John, get your fat ass off the seat and do it. You're a piece of shit. You're a bum. <laughs> my... Ma, you got to unplug all the phones. Oh Why don't you do it? You should just take a call at this point. Like, what is yeah, the point of the show otherwise? Yeah, had? just put it on speaker. Yeah. How many fucking phones? <laughs> <laughs> like the United Nations. <laughs> That's Putin on line five. We need to take this. Okay. So... The problem is John's trying to have this big return to podcasting. He's the GOAT. He got over on Shuli and Lady Kmart. He's coming in. And they're just like, oh, it's fucking hell. Kind of taking the wind out of his sails. Yeah, man. it definitely is. Uh, and, and at this point, John can't even handle the distractions anymore. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to rip that phone out of the wall, Mom. You're driving me to drink. Yeah. A delivery <laughs> should show up now. All right. I'm gonna rip uh -oh. that phone right out of the wall. I enhance the audio here. And smack you over the head with it I'm like the fucking uh, Don Rickles scene in every Casino. Phone. He's gonna beat her with <laughs> the <jokes. laughs> Told you I not can't to have any distractions. Distractions. It's irritating. It should turn the camera and see a bank of phones like on a telethon. <laughs> <laughs> They're so desperate. But try to raise money, John. No, Trollathon no, no. 2023. <laughs> Trollathon. Call in. Get your messages in for stuttering John. Oh, my oh that would be fantastic. Please give generously <laughs> to our beloved chatter. <laughs> the Trollathon. <laughs> the Trollathon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The calls are coming in. Let's go to the tote board. <laughs> so watch him he gets up twice doesn't do anything and he's out of breath wiped out Mister, I'm going to fight everybody if you give ten dollars we'll send you a tote bag a stuttering John tote bag <laughs> full of cat shit and empty coarse can <laughs> uh, actually I need the cans <laughs> I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta get the deposit back <laughs> This might be one of my favorite clips of John the entire year. He's done a lot of great clips this wow. year. This is John's big return show to rub it in all of our faces. Please. He just locks her in the room. <laughs> she just needs to get her meds out of the cabinet. Fuck. <laughs> Some show, She's John. stuffed in a rocking chair in the attic. <laughs> <laughs> With all the phones. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is hilarious. Like, he doesn't understand <laughs> how funny this is. Oh. Oh, I thought the DC trip was gold. I know. Oh, it's, oh, it's up there. I was expecting maybe one or two. 
Goku rings before, you know. And that was funny as it is. This is, we're going on ring number eight here. <laughs> yeah, no. This, and he's not even here. It's just a chair yeah. and ringing. I've, I've never yeah, laughed harder at a picture. The chair's doing good, though. <laughs> yeah. never. The chair's doing great. Barack Obama's killing it. How's my show? Is it bigger than a bread box? (laughs) (laughs) He's got fucking his mom's house is like the 1800s. That's fantastic. That is the cleanest toaster oven I've ever seen. Yeah, she probably has to do it every day. All right, so John's getting pissed now. (sighs) Fucking hell. Pick up, like, you know what? Just yes, end this shit. Pick it up. Have yes. fun. I don't know. This is fucking. You gotta hard, remember, though, Missy, he tried that, and then the person hung up and it started chirping at him, so he doesn't know what to do now. He's all out of options. Well, that could have been choice. We still don't know. <laughs> we still don't know. How they interact with them? <laughs> John, get out. The call is coming from inside the house. <laughs> Look how much better he looked eight months ago. In eight short months, he's turned into a piece of shit. He just looks bad. Alcohol, dementia, all, all everything he does, drugs, beer, junk food. You know, he's so full of crap. Goes to the gym now. He's getting in shape. And he shows his biceps. He can't even show his biceps properly. He he flexes them wrong. He doesn't have any anyway, so this guy is nuts. He comes to his mother's house, takes over the place, gives orders, tells her what to do, and just disrupts everybody's lives. Like he does with everything. <laughs> Well, the funny, you know, he used to talk for years about like getting a special phone system to have callers yes, into his show. Right, just fucking pop that sucker out on speakerphone. Like you're on the Stuttering John podcast. Yeah, what do you want have fun with on? it. Yeah, yeah, interact with them a little bit. <laughs> He's walking Phoenix all of a sudden. None of that happens. If you call <laughs> now. <laughs> a porcelain veneer is good for you. I've lost all of my teeth due to drinking. That's why I look like this kind of meat. It's uh, like fairy ribs. <laughs> <laughs> but now I have chiclet teeth, and uh, oh, they look shit. much nicer. All right, guys. <laughs> Please, let's all listen to this next clip because this right. is where we find out who John really is. This is not his mom's fault, okay? None of this is his mom's fault. This is all John's own doing that this is happening. <sighs> Mom, could you unplug that phone too? Where is that? I don't know. You got 20 fucking phones in here. <laughs> <laughs> don't curse at your mom, man. Uh, I like you to yeah, it sounds like it's up there, though. Yep. Oh, poor woman. I think, right. it, I think it's Joyce. Yep, I think as much. Unplug it. Oh, my God. So now he's just oh. yelling orders to his wife. 20 fucking phones in here. As if it's like she lives a very peaceful life, I'm sure. She's not usually yeah, bothered yeah. by this. She's having a phone. I just like $2. If I could, you know, and, you, and you, your phones are ringing. You know, this is a very important podcast. I'm going to make 18 or maybe even $23. <laughs> I'm, sure goes, I'm sure she'd know how to unplug his life support system. You <laughs> <laughs> get that the first shot. <laughs> I think what's so fucked up is he he knows he's live doing this. Yep. And he has no shame talking like this to his mom live. <laughs> and does he think people like, oh, you know, you remember when you were younger and it was cool to talk back to your, like to show sure. off to your friends or something? Right, right. He, he, he's still in that mindset, as we know. But it's just like, that's so, as he's just a despicable no, human being. That's a great we'd call. All, we'd all love to see a... We'd we'd all love to see a wooden spoon come into frame and smack him over the head, fucking rolling pin. <laughs> so that old school mom discipline. Well, right. He looks I'm like fourteen hours in labor with you, and you gotta talk to me like that on your podcast. <laughs> he looks yeah. like throw mama from the train. If she was just coming <laughs> to frame right now, <laughs> and she sounds like he looks like Mama Fratelli from Goonies. But look at him. I mean, he looks better than he does now, but he was fatter. More bloated is what I mean. 
good. So. <laughs> oh my god! Victim, yeah. and you're victimizing my mom. Okay. <laughs> I gotta watch that. But again. he also pivoted from cursing at his mom to now saying, "My poor mother." Yeah, like, I know. Yeah, it's like you're the you. one. Yeah. Poor Who's mom, because you terrorizing her. <laughs> she just wants to talk to Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Joyce okay. Look, it's a funny beginning. You gone to a motel or a hotel and not bothered anybody? You'd be fine, you dumbass. You cheap, lazy motherfucker. Whoever's calling, fuck it. It's funny. It is funny. But it's my poor old mother there who's running around trying to unplug phones. So you got to run so around. So you happy? Are you happy you got an old, an 80-year-old son? She's running around because you're telling her, run around. Why don't you do it, you lazy prick? Nothing. Running around <laughs> trying to unplug <laughs> phones? Kind of. <laughs> something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we're all it saying to happy. you. <laughs> when, it, when it comes yeah. to unplugging phones, try not. Do or do not. <laughs> there is no try. Like, what part is you getting tripped up on? <laughs> yeah. Well, you have, you have to like push that little tab down and then pull <laughs> yeah, right. at the same time. And when you're 80 and you have rheumatoid arthritis, that's a difficult motion to try and be making over <laughs> and over and over again. Yeah, I, I do remember John had to plug in an Ethernet cord into his modem and he got back. Oh. God. And he was all winded, and we were making fun of him. That's He's cool. like, yeah, but it's under my bed. I had to lift my bed. Like, this is not a complicated procedure, no matter what's going on. Was there an obstacle course to unplug a fucking phone? Just a...